Hello everyone, and welcome back to Suhula Sand Safari, where we are carrying on with absolute aardvark chaos as we count down the very final moments where our Zudesia Zoo zoological network will be able to contribute to the upping the ante challenge. That is the one I am currently trying to work on, and Beth might be about to actually make our entire zoological network of Zudesia more famous by letting us have the silver rank. <gasps> yes! Beth, I'm so proud of you! She's done it, friends! She has done it. In just a second here, she is about to give birth to the first baby that pushes us into the silver zone. Let's do this! Let me go ahead and pull up the random common generator to see exactly what we are going to name this little one, depending on if it's a boy or girl. I've already got the comment pulled up. Come on, Beth. Baby, baby, baby. Come on, Beth. I know it's 109 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now, which is ridiculous. I would not want to be giving birth to my aardvark child if I was an aardvark and it was 109 outside. But we have lots of shady areas for you to relax in. Could you please have the baby? We really need to get a move on, Beth. We've got a lot more aardvarks that we potentially might have born in the next 20 minutes. This is going to be a very chaotic episode, friends, so I hope that you are buckled up and ready to go as we have our little boy, Elvi. Elvi. Here, we'll name him little Elvi after Elvia. Elvia, hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to our adventures. They're going to be somewhat chaotic today, friends, because we are now watching over an entire network of aardvarks and waiting, basically, to see if any of them are going to have any more babies. So, Jessica is actually old. She doesn't have anybody in here with her. Um... However, none of our other artworks have gotten around to potentially having any babies. Oh my gosh, and the cheetahs are ready to go. Can you believe that they've already grown up? I cannot believe that they've already aged up. Look at that. And we have four cheetah boys to actually send out into the wild. Wow. That is amazing. That helps out our conservation credits so much, actually. All right, so today, friends, we are mostly going to be having our eye in the sky as we try to see if the aardvarks will have enough pregnancies. I think that gold might be beyond us, but I am going to be so proud that we managed to achieve silver aardvark statue level. Yes, right at the very, very end. Uh, so we just need to carry on. I'm also really excited because of the way we have the aardvark set up. We have changed our world so much. Let's see if we have a male. Oh my goodness, we actually have another female who is ready to go ahead and have some space of her own. Chip has actually outgrown her zone. You know, we haven't had very... Well, we've had one really healthy baby from Jessica, but Jessica is getting kind of old. However, Jessica's still kicking. So that means that we're going to need to put in a whole new aardvark zone for Beth's baby. So let's do this. There we go. Aardvark territory. I love that the aardvarks are forcing us to constantly expand this territory. Now we might turn this territory, when time comes, into space for a bigger animal. <gasps> Maybe we could actually get the hippos to finally be able to play over here. Oh my gosh. No, Ella! Ella the African elephant has actually died! We will literally give like one moment- oh my gosh. One moment of, of peace for Ella the elephant. She was 63 years old and I will miss her so much. Let's put down an elephant statue in her memory. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need elephant statue. I don't have time. Uh, we have enough time to quickly mourn our wonderful elephant. There we go. Because Ella was very special to us. She was like one of the first, the matriarchs of many elephants that we have. And we'll put that over... I think we're going to put an aardvark thing over here. So we'll actually put the elephant statue right here. And it will actually help to cool people down when they get near it. Alright, so we actually might need some aardvark boys. Surprisingly useful because I actually have a gold quality male tucked away into our animal storage. I thought we would, like, maybe trade him for a lot of credits, but if... If he can actually come and become Chips' mate, that would be great. Or even Emma's mate. So let me get him out of trade. All right, Ren, we're going to cancel your trade. We're going to move you in with this new female. And we'll zip around and see if we have any hope with the other aardvarks. 
All right, Hannah and Finn are trying to possibly have more babies. Beth is raising her baby Elvie. Trotman and Lori just haven't had any luck. Penda and Lemmings haven't had any luck. I'm beginning to worry that our aardvarks will never become pregnant again. <gasps> Little Willa has grown up. Oh my gosh. So as long as we have this challenge going on. Oh, um, I need to make sure to add that space to a work zone. But yeah, this is going to be absolute chaos with aardvarks today because as long as we have the challenge going on and we have a female who can actually go and establish her own territory, we're going to take advantage of that. And let's expand it over here now. I really like the idea of transforming this spot we've made over here into some sort of place for people to eat in the future. So that's actually my thought of what we're going to do once we no longer have chaotic aardvarks to worry about. Is we'll turn this zone... Oh, if I can't get in here. Alright, I'm actually going to have to like get kind of creative with this, huh? All right, let's do this first. No, no, no. All right, I see how you want to work. And then we'll come down. Oh, you know what? Let's just make a cool bridge then. If that's how it's going to be. <gasps> Seven the Jaguar has died of old age. Oh, I hate speeding through things, but the cheetah is about to have another baby. We've made a cool area where people will actually be able to watch the aardvarks from a different point of view. Hmm. This terrain is in the way. Let's see if we can smooth it out. Chippo, the, the West African lion, is expecting offspring. The cheetah has just had offspring. Alright, an animal has escaped? Curses, Rin! You're supposed to be having babies right now, not making a break for it. Oh my goodness, that's my bad because I totally forgot to fix the two big major errors that we know we have in Aardvark territory. Alright, running out of time. We're running out of time. I don't have time to have holes in my fences. It's so exciting to be like in the final moments of these though. Alright, now that that's done, we'll recapture him. Let's grab the wall that we know we need to close things off. Who knows, we might be really surprised and discover that without us realizing it, some of our aardvarks have actually become pregnant and are giving birth in the background. Meanwhile, we're gonna need to- Oh, Chip the aardvark's about to mate! Oh, let's hope that sh that was successful. And if so- Oh, is about to mate, yes! All right, the aardvarks are really thinking about it. Let's move Willa over here. She's now got her own territory. We're gonna need more staff members to like take care of her. And we're also going to need that to be in the mudflats work zone. So we'll add her over here. And I like how we're forcing ourselves to finally start expanding with more houses and everything. We can make a little village over here, I think that will be kind of at the foot of where everybody can party up here and have some food. And then we'll have like a little farm down here where the villagers live in these houses. And then they climb up top to a market that we'll have. We'll build a cute little market, like a farm market up here. I love that idea. And then let's get a large staff room. And may the absolute amazing amazingness of our wonderful Suhula Sand Safari Zone continue to support us financially as we just carry on like nobody's business. I hate being fast forwarded, but we don't have the time to slow down. All right, we're going to grab these. There we go. Those are now going to be part of the zone. LV the aardvark is about to mature and he could actually go into some good spots where we have got some unattended females. So, LV. Oh, why? We've had, oh man. Okay, LV, I'm going to put you in with Emma. All right, come here, LV. We're going to move you over with Emma. And then over here, Chip is now expecting. So we're going to move Rin. Rin? Are you actually... No, Ren, I don't think you're related to this one. So we should be okay. And then we'll move Ren over here. Excellent. Do we have any aardvark babies we're expecting? 
No, and Shard is getting so old now. Why are she and Glitch not having any babies? And Milkshake doesn't have a mate. And Lemmings hasn't had a, any babies with this one. And Willa needs some attention. Oh no, Willa, what's the matter? You're really mad, Willa. You're very unhappy. Oh, what? You have lots of space, sweetie. Here, let's move her over here. Maybe she just doesn't realize it yet. She has space to escape if she wanted. She just legitimately doesn't know it yet. Whoops. All right. And Willa's, Willa's situation is actually what's got everybody up in arms. All right, we'll put her down. And then we'll see what she thinks. Why does she think she doesn't have any room to roam? Because we need to smooth things out. Okay, let's smooth some, some terrain out for her really quickly. Hang in there, Willa. We got you. You're going to have a nice, happy aardvark life over here, I promise. There you go. Space at 100! Yay! Now she should be quite content. And then our jaguars have actually matured, so we need to go ahead and immediately move on there. Princess Ruby has raised some excellent children. We'll go ahead and we will actually have her daughter go into Trade Center and her son be released to the wild. There we go. And then Princess Ruby, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll give you high quality food for bringing all that we could possibly hope for out of our Jaguar research that really contributed to being able to get that, um, that like middling challenge that we did last time. All right, Willa doesn't have any mate. That's not gonna help us when it comes to the whole having babies thing. Penda, you and Lemons still haven't had like a mate, like a baby for a long time. Why? Trotman, you haven't had any luck either forever and ever and ever and ever. So I might move you too. All right, I'm gonna move Trotman over here. Maybe they're just not into each other. And Glitch, because they don't care who they mate with, usually. We'll have to go check in on the lions and make sure we don't have fighting amongst the lions in a little bit. All right, come on, anybody else wanna just surprise us with a baby? <gasps> and Chip had a baby girl, oh my goodness. That happened so quickly because we're, we're literally going absolutely chaotically fast right now. But this is actually going to be little Marlise. Marlise, welcome. If you age up whilst we are still here, Marlise, you, my friend, will actually also help to transform the territory. We need to get over to our lions really quickly, though, because the lions are about to start just tearing into each other. All right, there's a male. There's a male. And let's release these two females as well, because they are sisters. Oh, I can only release one at a time now. Oh, it takes a while. All right, let's do this male as well. We'll go ahead and release him to the wild. Now those guys won't be fighting. And then the two youngest ones, I think, we'll go ahead and release because they're going to be related. Pretty darn sure. All right, let's see. There she is. All right, we'll release her. There we go. Holy moly. <laughs> like, I would think that we would be doing really, really badly right now because we have got so many animals all over the place. Lemons, you are not stuck. Oh, fudge to the knuckles. Lemons, move. You're supposed to be enticing her with wonderful whispers about how cool termites are. Not having problems. Okay, Penda, is your habitat just really dirty and that's the problem? Yeah, the cleanliness is not good in here, Penda. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna have some more emergency hire zookeepers. I know I haven't named keepers from our Patreon list in so long. Give me one second. Okay, one, two, three emergency hires. We'll have to name them next time when we kind of have a recovery day from the aardvark chaos. For now, we're just gonna assign everybody to the mud flats. And then make sure that all of the buildings that I've selected... Oh, that's right. She has to touch the ground before you can tell her where she goes. All right. For now, everybody I've selected just needs to get to work. <laughs> all right, work zones. Let's make sure everything over here is in mudflats. It is. 
So staff should have a chance to rest and they should have a, a chance to go ahead and grab some food. And then for our aardvarks, Hannah and Finn, come on guys, come on. Emmett and Elvie, come on. We'll grab another, I think we need another water treatment center. Oh yeah, we need another. Is that why they're not having any babies? <gasps> I will clean your water every day? I promise? Oh my gosh, is that why we haven't been having any babies this whole time? Because of water issues? Oh, be still my sad heart. All right, let's see. That'll teach me. Okay, exit group. Then we'll need to make like a little garden thing over here. Oh, I hate when I didn't grab the garden bit. All right, where's the... I need the whole kit and caboodle. There we go. Okay, oh wow, yeah, I haven't been... <laughs> I have not been changing to this area well. Diseased animals discovered, that's never a good thing. All right, exit. Let's grab the whole group again. And let's get some power over here. Again, we will fix all of this area when the time comes. Meanwhile, let's make sure that that goes into the work zones. Making a mess, making a mess, but that's okay. We can have future streams to go ahead and the cheetah already grew up, what? We can have future streams to tidy this all up. These two make so many amazing babies. They had four cubs again. I cannot believe they had that many. All right, last two, come on. You two need to go too. We're up to almost 20,000 20, conservation credits. Ironically, normally, oh, Pylea, come on, please. Please. Baby hard work. No artwork, baby! Oh! We had a chance at the mating, so I think they were upset because their water was dirty, and who wants to have babies when your water's dirty? I cannot blame them. I, I just literally cannot. Meanwhile, Marlise might grow up before the end of the challenge, but I don't know if it'll matter because, like, everybody else... Lori doesn't have a mate! Come on! Penda doesn't have a mate! Will is pregnant! Lemons, I love you! Get in here with Pinda! Alright, we'll grab another aardvark male. Because we have we have two females who don't even have a mate. So let's see if we can grab another aardvark male right here in the last few moments. Alright, I want 100% fertility. Like, give me, give me the best you got. Alright, this is the best we got from Bluetopia. All right, get in here with this artwork, please. Let's see. Yeah, Lori, Lori has good babies and she could definitely use some help. And then let's see. Okay, we already got him. He's on his way in. And we'll grab this guy, also from Bluetopia. The last few minutes, can we get him? We got him. He's gonna go over here. I feel like, I feel like, okay, whose welfare is attracting? Okay, Tabia? We're gonna release you to the wild, dear. You're you're having a little bit of an issue, friend. All right, who else is unhappy? We have some hungry animals. Maybe? Is it the hunger or is it something else? Food enrichments. There need to be more food enrichments for these animals. Is this is this elephant? No, she's just sleeping. Oh, the elephants do that to me every time. All right. Marlies, you've matured! Holy cow! That means we do need to go ahead and... Oh, geez, the lions are fighting again. And we need to get Maurice like, a section of her own. Let me come in and adopt out a couple lions. To the wild. <gasps> Willa's about to have offspring! Willa, bless your wonderful aardvarky self. Are you going to be able to pull this off for us? Is this going to be, like, anywhere close to our challenge? Let's see. Eleven. Oh, my gosh. Nine minutes left, friends. All right. Nine minutes. Let's just run this. Let's just go. Let's just go, 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 go for nine more minutes and see what we can have happen. We've got new aardvarks arriving. We've got piles of aardvarks everywhere. We're going to have to make a termite hall of fame, like the termite tunnel hall of fame after this. Is Willa gonna give birth? 
Audrey is having even more babies, and Willa has just given birth to a little girl. Yes, she has just given birth to little Gilly. Gilly, welcome! Welcome from Oscar Gillian! So you are now a female aardvark in our area who will no doubt cause even more changes to Sahula Sand Safari. I'm gonna come in and we're gonna add in one more aardvark territory. Yes, more, even though we've got nine minutes. That's nine whole minutes that something could happen, friends. I, I know that this seems so weird, but I legitimately love the chaos. Because it gives us, it's going to keep us busy for ages to tidy this up. And it leaves behind such a fun record of our adventures. It means we had a good time. It means that things were just wildly abundant with adventure. That we had to get really creative about how we were going to like fix everything. I learn, it, and really it forces you to learn new skills fast. I know that seems really weird. Oh, sister, the elephant died. <gasps> She's been with us for like a legitimate year. Oh, sister, rest in peace. If you're still here in our community, you can come back again. Just leave another comment and we'll add you back in. You and the sister is actually from a pair of sisters who share a YouTube account. And I will never forget how freaking adorable their little, their little comments would be because they shared their account and they would always comment like, it's me, not my other sister, or not my sister. And I just thought that was so precious. All right, <gasps> Pylea, when did you even get pregnant? I'm not gonna question it. Pylea's having a baby, friends. We might at least get to see gold. We might not get to keep gold, but we might get to see gold. We'll have to worry about the African Buffalo another day. Smallwood. It said Pylea's about to have offspring, but is she even pregnant? Penda is about to mate. Is she pregnant? That West African lion is expecting offspring. We need another mechanic over here. The cheetah just had babies. Nelly the second has passed away. Wait, do we have like invisible... Invisible aardvark pregnancies now? Because it said Pylea was having a baby, right? <gasps> Pylea did have a baby! Yes! Small one! Good job! We're gonna move you over here, guy! Oh my gosh! Did- is her little boy... It didn't even mention that she was pregnant! Oh, And it was with the bronze. That's okay, Pylea. I really appreciate that you contributed towards the very end. And we are keeping track of the other babies that we have got. Uh, even if they are not silver or gold quality, they still matter, especially in our hearts. Betsy, why are you so unhappy? You can't be unhappy because you're going to be like, I don't want to be in here and having babies with Lori. Oh, your drink quality is... Oh, no. Okay, we got to get the the water quality up. Is this... Does this need fixed? No, we just need... Okay. Oh, dang it. I didn't have water quality up on all of these. We'll make like a little pond or lake that will actually suspend this over or under even somehow let's see oh no we have an escapee fudge milkshake is stressed oh milkshake why is it because of all the people there's literally people climbing in her bushes of course she would be stressed i'm sorry milkshake here milkshake if you come over here maybe you and your mate will have a little bit of privacy and you could try to have some babies all right, meanwhile, I need to include these into the Mudflats work zone. Literally being forced to vastly expand the vast horizons and also being forced to juggle like a huge, it's, it, it, it is really cool though, because it's kind of like the lion prides that we don't have time to get attached to are still giving us thousands of conservation credit points. There we go. And that makes me really excited. Okay, any more babies? Hannah and Finn? Emma? Any luck? Oh, yes! Smallwood, good job! Maris is about to have a baby! Let's move Smallwood over to her mom's territory now. And Marles, are you going to like pull us in to at least glance at gold? We've had 11. Oh, Penda, Penda, please, please. 
Come on, Benda! Come on, Benda! Dang it! All right. Last drink quality was really bad for Penda, so I'm hoping it'll be better now. Oh no, it's not gonna be better! Oh, I need to go ahead and get... That's why... Okay, see, and now I've I've been forced to learn something really important about how to take care of our wonderful... our wonderful animals. Let's see. And I kind of love the idea of just having, like, a little hut that somebody's tending to, and they're like, yeah, I've just got a little... little, little little back garden and we can hide this with a garden later there we go but now it should make Penda's drink quality better that totally makes sense why Penda would be like yeah I'm not having a good time and we didn't even give energy over to these habitats so that makes sense why like over here the village isn't really flourishing we'll try to add in more gardens there we go and then I'm going to make sure... <gasps> Marlas, you just had your baby! We'll go check in on the baby in just a second and see if it's actually giving us a little bit of fame. If we're going to be able to have the fame from the birth of another aardvark. I am kind of excited to make like termite hills. All right, he's a little boy. Let's find him. There he is. Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, oh, that's okay, Marlies. I'm just tickled that you gave us one more artwork baby. But all right, guys, I think we're literally in the final seconds. We've learned we really need to keep the water quality really clean for artworks. Gilly is about to mature. Little baby Gilly, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're gonna expand their territory, like, again. What am I even gonna do with all these artworks? No, don't escape, Adissa. I don't have time for you to escape. All right, let's see. Gilly has just matured, which means we've got a lot of aardvarks in there. Um, and I think, I think maybe we'll put Gilly over here and then actually have like an exhibit that people can look into so that they can have the fruit market up here and then maybe look into this exhibit. It might be aardvarks. Maybe we'll even move in some anteaters from South America, like on some sort of loan. But I kind of like the idea of people being able to like look into this exhibit from the fruit market. And Princess Ruby the Jaguar, who actually came from that infamous South American zoo that we were just referring, has now passed away of old age, my friends. Rest in peace, my dear. And then Gilly, we're gonna go ahead and we'll move you in right over here. All right, so she's got her own territory. And now that the aardvarks have started it, that doesn't mean the aardvarks are gonna stay. Because <laughs> the uh, panda's about to mate. Come on, panda, come on. Why Why did it take me to a zebra? I was focusing on <laughs> a whole nother animal. Oh my gosh. All right, meanwhile, these guys are ready to go. They're challenging their father for control of the pride. That's not gonna happen. The cheetahs are actually going to need to go. They fight like instantly. They grow up and they just start like tearing each other apart. All right. You three are about to mature. Keeping an eye on you. And I think that that may be that, friends. Let's release the cheetah to my shock. We have maintained, even with all of the frantic building we have done, and no attention whatsoever to our guest, we have maintained a $2.5 million budget. We have actually gained 22,000, 22 freaking thousand conservation credits. And we have finished off the challenge with zero minutes left. Boom, let's collect all of our unclaimed rewards. There we go. There we go. Ah, <sighs> it's over. It's over, friends. And what have we wrought? <laughs> the challenge is now over. I think we managed to have a total of 13 aardvarks born, even though it doesn't note it right here. We did contribute uh, 13 of them. I think that it just needs to reload because, you know, we, the challenge is finished. And um, we've had lions 
have a huge pride that ended up supporting the Sahula Sands ecosystem all on their own. We have had to expand things all over the place that I think are actually going to majorly benefit us. We'll have the aardvarks start moving out and then we will start moving in other types of animals, cleaning these areas up. As the aardvarks trickle out, we will also add in termite mounds for them. We did have three of our bronze level aardvarks actually leave. So Patrick, Nio, and Ren, who went out to the wild, left behind these termite mounds. And we will be putting down more termite mounds to celebrate all of the aardvarks who came to join the challenge and transformed the landscape of Sahula Sands forever. So thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. It was absolute chaos. I loved having my hand forced to actually expand things. We're going to make it look even better. We're going to make it look even nicer. We're going to repair the chaos that we have wrought next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all things Aardvarky. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, friends, give yourself a big pat on the back for having helped reach to that uh, silver Aardvark statue that somehow we will give ourselves in Zudesia Zoo in our Minecraft world. And uh, go have a good time. Stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.